Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a singles reading. So we're going to start with the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for the next seven days. We're just going to see whatever comes up for the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Next seven days, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, what do we got? Now these are these don't come out reversed, so if they show up reversed, I am gonna flip them. These are like a it's a different kind of deck, so we're not there's no reversals in this. Well, it's going to end in victory, whatever it is. It is going to end in victory, so that's good. Um, there has been some deception, though. There absolutely has when you got that deceit card. Something's been going on behind the scenes, right? I mean, <sighs> you know, it really looks as though somebody's heart is starting to heal after there has been some sort of deception it's like somebody has lied and in hidden hidden the truth it's almost like um, you've been robbed of abundance you know you've been robbed of happiness and you may have t needed to take some time to to go within to heal because whoever this person is that uh, really deceived you has caused a bunch of anxiety and depression and fear right there's fear here but it's like all of a sudden there's some sort of shift where things are starting to change and start things are starting to move forward very very quickly very fast it's like a new path has opened up for you or it is opening up and it's leading you towards happiness and healing from this, this broken heart. You guys are headed right towards something that is very victorious, right? You are. You know, it's like there's been some sort of contract, some sort of karmic contract that you may have... This karmic contract that you have been involved in has been, has brought some imbalance to your life, okay? But it's like now things have been balanced. Now things are starting to be balanced out again. And happiness is starting to come back to your life. It looks as though somebody is, is right on your tail. Somebody is right on your tail. This person may be um, completely different than you. Okay, and it's probably you might be trying to run away from this person, but or they may be trying to run away from you. But I feel like whoever this is, they're going to be caught. It's going to get caught. It's going to get caught. Whatever, whatever this is, it's like you can you can catch it. You know what I mean? You can catch it. It's right there. It's right there. It's like you're just about where you need to be. Okay, you just about got them. Whatever it is. Um, or they just about got you. Could go either way. But there's still some fears. There's fears of being deceived again, right? And maybe right now you're in the process of still healing from this deceit. That's what it looks like to me. Because this is this is blossoming abundance. It's okay. So it's, it, it's not all there yet. It's blossoming. So your victory and success is like right around the corner. It's right around the corner. The happiness that you seek is like right there. It's like your heart is just about healed. Just about. And so it appears to me that you guys are headed, headed towards a much, much better place. We're going to get some clarifier cards here. 
I'm going to use this deck that's way over here. Of course it is. Um, you guys are about to go down this new path, and it's going to lead you to some sort of victory. Okay. You know, the com you have a completion here. You have an end of end of suffering. Okay, the suffering that you have been through is just about over. Okay, the closure that you need is just about here. It really is. It really is. Happiness is coming back. You're gonna receive. You're receiving some sort of blessing. You think about a rainbow. That's peace. That's peace. That's that's a blessing. Receiving some sort of blessing. And if you think about the scales, that's, that's justice, the blessing that you deserve for, you know, removing yourself from this deception, whatever it was. Happiness, yes. So we have a renewal here. We have a rebirth. This is extreme happiness coming back. The sun is extreme happiness. It is. This is a rebirth. A renewal of some sort. That's after you take action, though. Now, this is this Ten of Pentacles. This is abundance. Prosperity. Something you can save. Something you can... You know, something solid, something long term. So you guys are headed towards something really, really solid. I think this week you are taking action to bring happiness. This is extreme happiness. It really is back to your life. You're bringing balance. Things are going. Something is going to be balanced in your life. You're starting over. This is starting fresh, starting over. No longer, no longer uh, waiting around. This is you. Well, this is Pisces, but it's uh, because it's the hangman reversed. But this is uh, coming out, coming out of hanging around. It's no longer resisting. It's waking up, right? It's like you're wide awake now. It looks to me like I see a fresh start here. I see starting over and building a new foundation. It could be this is like a renewal, a rebirth. It's like it's like finding happiness again. And it's like leading you home. Because the 10 of coins is home. Yeah, it's like you've you've been enlightened. Somebody has really been enlightened. They have their time of of introspection has given them the wisdom that they need to bring balance back to their lives. So, I feel as though you guys are closing a difficult chapter in your life. And happiness is coming back. I see a fresh start, starting over at zero, with something that is solid, stable, happy. It's the only thing is, is you have to, you have to allow, let go of your fears, and be sure that you're not deceiving yourself. This is a seven. You can't hide behind that curtain to receive abundance. You can't. You got to face your fears. You got to replace your your negative thoughts with positive thoughts. There's an opportunity for something really long-term, stable. We have a new beginning here. That could lead to a lot of happiness. I mean, a lot of extreme happiness where it's like it's like takes you home makes you feel like you're at home 
I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I feel like this is a week of taking action to go after what you want very quickly because this is very fast. Very fast. It's going to lead to, to, to lead you home because this is like a, I, th I saw that earlier as well. So I really feel like this is a week of you guys receiving some sort of victory that you have probably been afraid to go after. It's like, I think that's what it is. It's like, I see fear here. There's this fear. There's fear over here. Anxiety is fear. Fear of going, taking action. Fear of taking action. But it's like somebody decides to take action and they find their happiness again. So whatever that is. Um, I see healing of a broken heart. I really do. It's like there's fear. There's fear of it getting broken again. But it's like... I think somebody decides that it's time to take action and start over, start fresh. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Absolutely it is, right? For many, many, many of you, it is. And maybe that's why you're anxious. Maybe you're anxious because there's a child or there's children involved and maybe you're afraid that you know this won't work out because of it this one is funny it really is I've seen this card I've, I did another reading already today but I can't share it and this card came up getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens it's a strong message to start in a new direction you're going to have to reveal reveal your innermost selves to each other get to know each other This is the path, whatever path you're on, or whatever path you know that you need to take action is the path that leads you home. I just, that's a really strong message. I don't know where that's coming from. This is rebirth, renewal. Wedding, this situation involves marriage. I mean, you know, I don't know what this is, but it could lead to marriage. Oh, God. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, you guys, whoever this is for, you know who I'm talking about. You do. Take action. It can lead to victory. We have a soulmate connection here that, that could really bring you peace and happiness. It's a karmic. It's a contract. It's a contract. It is. Can lead to a lot of happiness. So I feel like there's a fresh new beginning here. With leaving the past behind. Because the fool leaves the past behind. And starts over at zero. So water signs, it looks to me as though you are going to be getting to know somebody. And it's just going to make you feel like you're at home or it's going to lead you home. And it could lead to marriage. That's what I got. Good luck.